My name is Julie Townsend and I'm the test lead for, for the Athlete Rover from JPL, which is right behind me here. And we're going to go take a look at it and I'll show you some of its main features. Athlete stands for the all-terrain, hex-limbed, extraterrestrial explorer, which basically means it's a six-legged vehicle for exploring other planets. And this particular design is for exploration of the moon. Uh, this is a half-scale prototype, which means that the one that we envision going to the moon would be twice this size. Um, it would carry habitats or logistics modules or other cargo that we send down to the moon to um, support the astronaut missions there. And, uh, and the legs are long enough that it can land on the top of a, car of a cargo lander that's six meters high and reach the ground to pull that cargo down and traverse it to wherever it needs to go. The, the athlete is designed to be driven either from Earth or by an astronaut on the surface of the moon. And so um, to help us do that, it has lots of camera pairs that we can use for stereo vision to build maps of the area around the robot if we're driving it from Earth. Another really cool feature of the athlete robot is because each leg is a fully articulated robotic arm, we can actually use it as a robotic manipulator as well. In fact, on the end of each leg, there's a tool attachment and we can clamp a tool like a gripper or a drill or a backhoe scoop into the wheel and this square drive here actually allows us to turn the wheel to actuate that tool. So we can use a, if we're using a drill for example, spinning the wheel will spin the drill. So this is a prototype. This is a, a vehicle that we've built on a low budget with a small team just to prove that the concept works. And when this will actually go into space is somewhat in question. It's not assigned to a mission as yet. Um, it's envisioned currently for the moon, but with NASA's new direction, we may be going to an asteroid or to Mars before we go there. So it's probably at least another good 10 years before you would actually see a vehicle like this on another planet.